Kendrick Lamar has released a new song and it has a lot of conversation started. Of course, it sent the internet into a frenzy. A lot of people are wondering who this track could be aimed at if it is indeed aimed at anybody and what is the message or what is Kendrick trying to tell us all. I'm going to give my overall thoughts and opinions on the new song, but I also want to briefly touch on what I believe is next to come for Kendrick Lamar. Welcome back to the voiceovers podcast. I'm 24K Logan. So, you know, one thing about Kendrick Lamar is obvious by now. He is very calculated and, you know, with how he moves, how he decides to release new songs new albums and whatnot he's very calculated and i guess is very very thought provoking with how he does things now just starting off with the song right a lot of people were wondering or even under the impression that it was another drake disc and while i think that there were small subliminals in the song I think it was more so Kendrick acknowledging that the beef is over and that he is officially ready to get back to his music and get back to his core audience and, you know, doing what he really wants to do with his catalog, with his material, with his content. And that is what I was looking forward to seeing. I was looking forward to seeing Kendrick finally get back to making his music and, you know, the whole hip-hop community being able to officially move over from this beef because i'm sure y'all are getting tired of it by now i know i am um i'm not gonna touch on too many of the verses or the lines in the song but there is one particular part that i wanted to touch on because i think it speaks a lot of volumes about what is going on in the industry and even more so kendrick's overall opinion on what's going on and just his mission so to speak so the part that i had wanted to touch up on is when kendrick said if you parade in gluttony without giving truth to the youth the graveyard is company just tell us what casket to choose i'm gonna read that again if you parade in gluttony without giving truth to the youth the graveyard is company just tell us what casket to choose very poetic uh, we all know Kendrick is very poetic a um, lot of metaphors in there and I think that was Kendrick's way of saying and I don't think it was directly targeted towards anybody and if it was we'll never know but I think with that Kendrick was basically saying look if you're not gonna drop material with some type of substance some type of awareness anything that's positive and uplifting the community mainly talking about the black community because of course kendrick has always been outspoken about things going on in the black community basically if you're not going to release music again it has substance has some type of message some type of positive meaning any type of uplifting and you know basically giving back and teaching the next generation then you need to get the fuck out of here i i think being blunt that's what kendrick was saying and you know we don't know if it was directly targeted at anybody because i'm sure that message if it was meant for somebody it was meant for a lot of different people in the industry i'm not going to say any names but you all can guess the people that it can go to or that that message can be sent out to and this is an interesting time in hip-hop right now of course you know just coming off of the beef between kendrick and drake not too long ago kendrick announced sunday that he will be performing at the super bowl 59 halftime show um i did a video um, on that um, about a day or two ago if y'all want to go check that out um it's of course it's on the channel but between all of that and now him you know releasing a song a song that is you know it's another way of Kendrick saying fuck the industry this is what we need to do this is the type of material that we need to be putting out there to the community especially to the youth I mean and I I agree you know every rapper doesn't have to be conscious um or socially aware like 
Tupac, Kendrick, J. Cole. But I think there does come a time in hip hop where there has to be a balance. I think as of lately, there has not been that good of a balance in hip hop between the, I guess, the turn up, ratchet, party rap, and the conscious, politically aware or socially aware rap um, from someone like a Kendrick Lamar. And I think Kendrick, his thing is more so about bringing back that balance, but even deeper than that, giving a positive outlook and a positive message to the next generation as he said to the youth and who better to do it than Kendrick Lamar I mean he's always been outspoken um, about these type of things and you know there's been a lot of people mad at him or coming at him and Jay-Z over you know him being chosen to perform at the Super Bowl instead of Wayne you know people calling Jay-Z a sellout, um, people saying things about Kendrick, but, you know, Kendrick is one of the very few rappers that's, again, outspoken about the things that are going on in the real world, you know, he's not, Kendrick is not going to give you party rap, he's not going to give you songs that you're going to play a thousand times in the club every weekend, Kendrick is about getting a message across, and a message across that can stretch out to multiple generations people of all ages and and backgrounds and whatnot and that's what i appreciate the most about kendrick um overall i definitely enjoyed the song i'm gonna have to give it a couple more listens to really grasp and take into account even more so what he's trying to say and what's his message what is his purpose with the song what is the meaning what is he trying to do and you know, briefly touching on what I think is next for Kendrick. Well, obviously, we all know that he will be performing at the Super Bowl. That is a no brainer because obviously it has caused a lot of controversy and whatnot. But, you know, I, I think I touched on this briefly in the previous video. I think that this is another way of Kendrick, you know, telling us without telling us directly. Um, there's an album coming on the way. You know, one thing that I kind of compared this to, right, outside of the beef, with Kendrick dropping this song and the message that I believe he is trying to give us in this song, Kendrick is not the type that's going to put out music constantly, right? He's the type that if he's going to give you something, if he's going to give you an album, he's going to give you a song. Outside of this beef, he wants to give you something with some meaning, some type of message, some something that's going to make you think, something that's going to challenge you, right? And if you go back to 2022, now all of us were anticipating a new album, of course, right? Prior to him releasing Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, he released the Heart Part 5 on YouTube and eventually um, it was available on all the streaming platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. He dropped the heart part five and about five days later if i'm not mistaken is when he released mr morale and the big steppers and that's kind of the thing that i see happening here now i'm not saying that we're going to get the kendrick album next month or the month after that i believe personally that he's going to drop the album either right before the super bowl or immediately after the super bowl to kind of add to this historic run that he's having um, I think that's what is next for Kendrick Lamar. Obviously performing at the Super Bowl and an album. I think that we are getting a Kendrick Lamar album very, very soon. Um, the last album we got from him, of course, was Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. That was two going on three years ago. And I think the fans, including myself, we are looking forward to another Kendrick Lamar album. And that is what I believe is next to come but that'll do it for today guys comment down below what y'all think about kendrick's new song what was his message what is he trying to tell us what was the whole purpose of the song and also comment down below what do you think is next for kendrick lamar do you think that we are going to get an album very soon when will it be released will it be released around the super bowl will it be released after the super bowl or could it be even released sometime this year comment down below and let's have a conversation 
Thank you so much again for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We have plenty of content on the way. And until next time, peace and love to everybody.